guys welcome back welcome to 2024 on this channel i know i'm kind of late it's february i know i know but this is the first vlog for this year for me why didn't i post last year i mean not last year why didn't i post in january i don't really know i don't really know and january was a good month but january felt like forever it felt like it was taking forever to end and now we're like almost halfway through February crazy but anyways so I have so many goals for this year so many plans so many things I want to do as always do I ever get it done uh sometimes not but anyways so I have a few things I want to talk about share show you guys and yeah so let's get right into this video excuse the hat I have to throw in a wig underneath this is a big old mess some flat twists that i did because i was filming a clip-in video which you guys will see very soon so yeah i'm wearing a hat for right now but i will be putting on a wig because i do have an event to go to this afternoon it's with the brand nivea so i think they're launching releasing something new i don't know anyways i'll take you guys along for the ride if i do end up going i believe i'm gonna go i have my dress picked out it's a nice little gray sweater dress um and then some knee-high boots and then probably a trench coat that's the outfit that i'm going for that's the outfit i have in mind anyways so let me get my phone speaking of phone i got a new phone i got an iphone 15 pro i upgraded from the iphone 11 pro yeah i usually upload not upload i usually upgrade every year but i stopped because I was just like, ah, uh, I don't feel like upgrading. But honestly, I need to, I needed to. The camera quality on the 11 Pro was crap compared to this new phone. So I got it. I haven't really been like taking photos or anything. If I do have any photos or videos that I can share, just so you guys can see the quality, I'll share them. But it's so gloomy here. Like it actually is very gloomy today. The weather has been surprisingly pretty, pretty nice, pretty warm. I can't really tell, but it's just... It's gloomy. Usually around this time, it's like minus 30, minus 40. That's Celsius, by the way. Right now, it is like 6 Celsius. Very, very warm. Like, scary warm. Like, this is like April temperatures. Maybe even May temperature. Crazy. Anyways, so let's look at my list of all the things that I need to... Oh, okay. Okay. So there is something I do need to address. I will address. Don't worry. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering. I've been getting comments and questions and emails and this and that. DMs. I will address it. So yes, I do have something really important to share with you guys. Anyways, so I will address that, but not in this vlog and another one. The next one. I think the next one is... Yeah, I think it's going to be the next vlog. So forget all that for now. I still have up Christmas decorations really really bad i attempted to take it all down on february no january 31st it was a bit of, of a, it was a little bit of a fail but i did take down a good chunk of it i gotta do the rest um, i'll insert some footage now So I want to share with you guys that I started doing laser hair removal. I have been waxing, not consistently, but I have been waxing on and off for like a few years. And I decided to just take the jump and start doing laser hair removal because in the long run, it would be cheaper. And overall, I think it was a pain for me. Like waxing is so painful and like because it's so painful, it's why that's the reason why I'm not consistent or why I wasn't consistent because it's just so painful. So I do full leg, Brazilian, and underarm. Um, I did my first session about three weeks ago. Very, it was very painful. Some areas, like areas where you're a little bit darker, for example, maybe underarms, you might have a little bit of a um hyperpigmentation because of shaving um it might sting a little bit but it's not that bad like it really isn't that bad bikini area if you have whatever any areas that are a little bit darker it will sting a little bit 
but anywhere any area that has no discoloration it's kind of just you know your brown skin or your white skin whatever you don't feel a thing you just feel cool air um but yeah so i started doing that uh, my next session is at the end of this month and i'm excited um, because i was told after about three to four sessions that's when you start to see results so i'm excited to see these results um I'm not enjoying the shaving, like in between, like I hate shaving. That's why I was waxing. Um, when, especially when it comes to waxing down below, I mean, not waxing, shaving down below. That is, that is a workout. It is so hard to get, <laughs> get everywhere, um, to shave everywhere before your appointment and you got to get everything or you're not going to get the best results. So everything needs to be nice and smooth before you go to your appointment, but I can talk about laser and all that later on um, but I just want to share that for anyone that is thinking about getting it I am doing it currently I can't really give you like a full review on it maybe after the four week mark I mean fourth session I can tell you guys like hey it's worth it or I'm not really seeing any results so also I think this is the last thing I want to share with you before I actually like really get into this vlog is I got a cute little basket from one second my brother is calling all right, so I got this cute little Black History Month basket from Shea Moisture that I want to share with you guys. I haven't opened it up, but I mean, I can kind of see what's inside, so I wanted to share it. So let's go, where can I do this? Maybe in here. So this is what it looks like. I can see that I have the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, a gel, um, some affirmation cards. I'm not sure what shampoo, dry shampoo, shampoo, conditioner, some cookies, more cookies, and I think that's it. Uh, I hate when things come so nicely wrapped. I never want to unwrap them. Um, but I mean, you guys, you guys have seen Shea Moisture's products before. Or when I do open it, I'll share it. Like I'll show you guys the full thing. But and then I got this drill here because I was um, respray painting finally the handles for this kitchen so yeah I just need to paint over some of these areas again because the old handles kind of left marks um, and then like we're filling old holes that need to be filled better because you can clearly see them but anyways that's that um, and as for over here you can see I still have some Christmas stuff but the tree is officially gone um, still have some pillows up so this needs to be taken care of probably today or tomorrow I'm going to try and get all of this Christmas stuff out of here and really like get this place cleaned up why did Amari bring this out this morning I was so confused he is just way too big for this sometimes he pulls out the strangest toys and but he was having a blast with it because it still works it still makes oh, okay hold on I think he turned it off yeah it still makes a lot of different noise um, it talks, whatever. I don't know. He was just being very, very silly. And it's like, you know, you're too big for a toy like this. That is like a good 30 pounds when you can carry it. Cause he literally, he put his arms under here and he carried it all the way from his room. And I was just like, I'm all right. You are too big for that. If you can carry this, you are too big. But yeah, it's time to pass it on or donate it. So that is a quick little update and a little bit of what my day is going to be like, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this head. Speaking of, I also need to get more memory cards because I don't know what happened to my memory cards. I literally just have one and this one's full. It has like 30 seconds left and then that's it. All right, you guys, so I am back from getting my memory card. I think I told you guys I was going to get a memory card. I went to Best Buy, but the memory card that I wanted, it was like $300 and I was just like, what? So I just did a quick search on Google and I ended up seeing that Henry's, um, it's a camera place or like photography place, um, had them for like way cheaper. So I was able to get two memory cards for a hundred bucks, which was really good. So one for this camera and one for my bigger camera. So, so anyways, I'm all dressed up. I threw on a wig, a headband wig. It's the kinky straight that's available in my online store, wakeupcurly.com. Um, so yeah, I just threw this wig on. I love that it pretty much looks like my real hair. It looks like blown out natural hair. So I love putting this one on. Um, I didn't curl it. I was going to add some curls, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to leave it. 
So um, I'll show you guys my outfit quickly. It's nothing, nothing to really talk about. I didn't, ooh, it's kind of dark in here. Let's see where I can put you. Yeah, it's nothing fancy. I didn't feel like dressing up and I'm so bloated as well. So I'm like, let's just put on something that I'll be comfortable in. So I'm just wearing a trench coat from Misguided. Yeah, so the dress underneath is from Shein. It's just like a sweater material ribbed dress. It's very, very soft. I have it in gray as well. Um, a little bit of a v-neck or v-cut and then it has a nice high slit on the side and I'm just gonna be wearing black booties I don't have them on right now and then just a little black purse well not little it's kind of big and then I just have this purse and that's it so just black from head to toe because I am so bloated right now I've had way too much dairy this week so let's just wear something comfortable something that I can eat in and not feel restricted um usually at these events they don't have like food food it's more like finger stuff it's i don't think it's a sit down event i don't think so yeah so it's just a launch preview um i'm guessing that they have some new products coming out or something i'm not too sure but either way anyway so i was thinking to drive halfway and then take a uber usually when i get invited to these brand events we get like a coupon for uber but the coupon they gave us won't cover my ride there and back especially at the time that i'm going because right now it's about three yeah during rush hour during rush hour prices on uber are really high and the coupon will cover maybe like 90 percent of it um so i probably would just have to pitch in like a 10 10 bucks to get back home um i was gonna drive halfway but i'm just so lazy to drive halfway yeah i'm just gonna use uber today i don't feel like driving i'm gonna call my uber and head downtown hey guys so it is the next day i went to the event last night um i stayed about an hour or so when i got there i got there kind of early got there three minutes early and i said to myself you know what i'm just gonna wait outside because they might still be setting up um but i saw people actually going in so i went in um yeah it was i went i went way too early I, I need to go later next time but anyways um it was nice as soon as you walk in you're greeted you do coat check and then they had like nivea products on display and stuff i didn't take a whole lot of footage um with my camera i did get a little bit of footage with my phone when you go up the stairs there was like a bar you could get drinks so i did get a i did get myself a drink which is very like sparkly had like gold not flakes, but gold sparkles in it. It was, it was pretty. And then eventually they came out with food and they had like shrimp tempura, um, lobster roll, a falafel ball, and then a mushroom truffle, which I wasn't a fan of. And then, yeah, that's it. Just finger foods. I didn't know anyone there. And that's one of the things I don't like about going to events. I messaged a bunch of people before I left the house to see if anyone was going. Um, most people said no, they didn't know about it. So yeah, I went there by myself. I was very, very lonely. Um, I did speak to a few people that were like working for the brand, but like no influencers. I didn't know any of the influencers because that is not my space. I'm more of a, well, obviously a hair content creator. Everyone that was there was like more like makeup and fashion and that's not my that's not my space so i didn't know anyone i had i didn't recognize anyone but anyway so that was the event um i did get a little goodie bag i'll show you guys what i got I'll show you the little goodie bag i would love to get into makeup and fashion a bit more of course i, I mean i should just to kind of expand there's a little goodie bag that i got from nivea so this is the bag and i'll show you guys what's inside so the first thing is dark spot solution. It's eye cream, um, anti-dark circle. The next thing is a advanced serum. It reveals brighter looking and glowing complexion. So it's a dark spot treatment, I guess, for your entire face. One of the ladies that was working there said that she's been using this on like a dark mark she had on her chest and she said it's been working. So I definitely will try this out. The last thing is an even tone cream face neck so does this one and this felt really really nice so i actually got a little bit of a 
I went downstairs. There was like a tester station where you could actually try out the products on your hand. So this one I actually did try it on my hand and it smelled really nice. Um, also, it was very like light and creamy. Like almost like a water. I don't want to say water because it wasn't thin at all, but it wasn't super thick. It was like in between, but it was really, really nice and it smelled so good. Um, so that. So I'm definitely curious to see how this works. And then inside, I think there's just a, yeah, information card and that's it. Yeah, okay, a little card and that's it. So those are the things that I got from yesterday's um, event. After the event, like it was so early, so I decided to go over to Craig's Cookies. So Craig's Cookies and I got myself a few cookies. I've been to Craig's before. I don't know if any of you guys have been there. I've been to them before and it's been a while and I was like, let me just check them out again. Honestly, yeah, no, I don't think I'll ever go back. Um, I did like the Snicker cookie that I got and the Crispy Crunch one, but everything else, their cookies are kind of hard, they're kind of lumpy, they're kind of weirdly shaped. I wish I had a picture of... Okay, so I don't know what just happened, but my camera just shut off on me for some reason. And this is a brand new memory card, so I don't know why it just did that. It recorded literally exactly five minutes. So I'm gonna test it out and see if it's cutting off at the five minute mark. That's gonna be very, very annoying. Anyways, so the next thing I was, I was talking like for another like 10 minutes, I didn't realize that it had stopped recording. Anyway, so told you guys about the cookies, probably won't go back there. Um, but also I completely got rid of all the Christmas stuff. Everything is gone. It's all the spring, well not spring stuff, but the original pillows are out that came with the couch, couches. Um, yeah, the house is just looking so plain and like boring. Oh man, anyways, it's fine. Also, I was saying that I need to get bigger pots for these plants. Yeah, it's getting dark. Get some bigger pots for these plants because the inner pot obviously is way too big. I usually only bring out this red pot for Christmas time, but I might as well just move them. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I think it. Okay. Anyways, I'm just going to have to leave it for now until I can replace it because I think this is a drainage pot. So if I remove the red one, this is when I do water this, it's going to spill everywhere. So. Anyways, my plant has been doing really good. I don't know if you guys remember, during the pandemic, I had I had these plants, but they were tiny. They were like a it was just like four or five leaves, and now look at it. It's blossomed into a really nice big plant and it's growing so much. It's getting super long. I can't wait for it to get longer. So when I first moved into this house, the previous owner had this plant. Um, it used to be up there hanging on that little hook but some way somehow I managed to kill the plant kinda I was able to like save some of it so I was able to save maybe maybe 10 leaves in total um, and I just repotted them I wonder if I can find that footage yeah because this was oh my gosh this was so small both of these they were so small when I repotted them and now they're nice and thick and full but of course they are overgrown and this pot is too small i'm just so lazy to like <laughs> redo it take it out and you know put it in a bigger pot but for whatever reason this one has grown so much as you can see it's getting super long it's really really thick and then this one is not as thick but it's getting it's getting thicker um i think because I had this one over there. It was away from the sun. Um, yeah. So it's doing a lot better here with the sunlight. It's now sticking out and starting to like hang down. So we'll see by the end of the year. It should be nice and long and even more full. Hey guys, it is t Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. Um, I'm actually I'm getting ready to wash my hair because it is so dry under here like it is so bad like look at this it's so bad i haven't been taking care of my hair at all these past two weeks no week or so like my hair is so dry like it is so dry you probably can't even tell but it is so dry 
it's really bad so I'm getting ready to wash it um, I was thinking to do a flexi rod set but <sighs> it's been so long since I did one and the way I usually do it or used to do it is that I would do it on either wet or dry wet or blown out hair and I would sleep with them in but now there's like this whole thing where you're not supposed to be leaving your hair wet like air drying your hair you should actually dry it so it's like ugh. I've never done it that way like sitting on a uh, sitting under a hooded dryer for an hour so uh, and like the way the whole situation is where I have to pick up Amari in like a few hours I'm just like this is gonna be such a rush I don't feel like doing flexi rods a flexi rod set today I'm gonna choose a different day when I'm not in a rush to get Amari from school so yeah we're gonna do mini twists or like smitty twists medium slash or small slash medium twist today because I'm just not in the mood to be rushing with flexi rods and I want to film it so we'll save that for another time but right now my hair is in dire need of moisture it's been in these twists mid not it's been in this flat twist <laughs> can't even tell what it is I feel like I look like the guy on um Walking Dead I'll insert a photo oh my gosh or like the Tyler Perry braids or Tyler Perry wigs yeah my hair is such a mess we're just gonna do something simple and a look that just never fails because like once the mini twists are in like it looks really good and you can style it however you want so we're just gonna do that uh, and that will last me about two weeks my hair is so dry like it's actually really bad really really bad it is so dry i don't think i've seen my hair this dry in like a very long time i try not to let my hair get to this point where it's so dry because wash day can be a bit challenging but honestly my hair does really well once it's once it's wet like water just melts all the tangles but this like my hair is really like really really dry so I'm a, a little bit nervous for how it's going to do in the shower. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.